Hello fellow weirdos. Welcome back to be with my shoulder in Lost Alpha Developers Cut. And I am about to enter the monolith base. We shall see if they uh, if they like my bandit trench coat. Huh? 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 <laughs> I haven't actually checked if this will work. <laughs> so if it doesn't, I'm gonna be a good boy and run back to the ca uh, the caves or whatever, the tunnels. And I'm gonna grab a proper bandage jacket and I'm gonna put it on and I will try to do it. I mean, I could of course uh, Rambo it and, uh, and just go and slaughter everybody but I would rather not because I don't have much ammo and uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna be quite a chore to kill the whole base if you want to see that option then uh, try out one of my uh, uh, beta moments uh, videos instead because in one of those I do exactly that while even lower on ammo, but there, there was that, yes. Okay, never mind me, I am just passing through. Well, the guy on the roof isn't shooting me, I'm guessing that's like a good sign, maybe? How can I say it if you don't come close enough to talk? <laughs> Trade? Ah, never mind. Yes. Пришел тогда первый от Монолита и сказал, вразумитесь, но не слушали они. <coughs> Мне нужно, нужно вспомнить, Монолит, помоги мне. And? You do realize this is a fire pit, not the Monolith. Hello. Ooh. How much for them? Ooh. Much. Придет время избранные спасутся. Монолит даст им совершенство. to rush. I'm gonna take a good look of the base. I'm gonna talk to everybody. Chill, mingle. Oh, also, how much money do I have? Oh, I should have enough for the bribe. I think it was like 35 or something? Or 10,000? I don't know. I remember people complaining that it was a lot and then some people uh, some people hoping that maybe they can get the bribe back after they have blown their cover yeah that's that's right buddy we're doing refundable bribes that's exactly how this works Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Oh, I already talked to you. Okay, before I approach that room, I'm gonna say because I, I don't remember. I think he he will just shun us away. But hello, never mind me. Hi. Uh, I think you can sort of. Uh, cross the wires on the whole mission and just grab the documents while he's in the room. It's just that he's gonna he's gonna kill you pretty fast if I'm not mistaken. I, I have tried out that variation at some point but I don't I don't remember. That's that's the thing with uh, trying out so many versions of the game is that it all just sort of blends together. I don't. Uh, I'm not certain what's uh, what's real for which version anymore. <coughs> what's in the fridge? Are you following me? He is. Very delicate apparatus. Okay, this is where we get to the roof, dude. Yo, you come here often? Nice ammo you've got there. Okay, can I cross this area without going back inside? I think I can. Yeah, that's the car. Wow, the car is already wrecked. Yeah, no way I'm gonna drive this one later. Wait a minute, I don't remember that basement. Uh, I don't think you can access it, but looks interesting. Okay, let's go back inside. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm gonna say it right away that this whole episode is gonna be just me diddle-daddling around the base. So, if you wanna see the chase, then, then wait until the next episode. I think we're close. Yeah, that's the pit here. Oh, eerie. Okay, this is how we get outside, and this is. Is this the way to the... yeah, that's, that's the way to this courtyard. I'm gonna check out this little basement thingy that I don't remember. Ah oh, no, that's the other side already. Never mind, I'm gonna check this side instead. I 
I know that there are some stashes in this area, but I, I can't remember if there were also some uh, some loose items here and there. There might have been. Okay, so it's just decorative. Too bad. Would have made a nice uh, stash location. <laughs> Hello. Never mind. Okay, I remember in uh, recently in MotoDB uh, forums, somebody said that they had, and I quote, entered the lab via the old entrance, which is impossible because the old entrance doesn't have a thing. And now they were stuck because they didn't. No! <laughs> because they didn't know the door code. So I wonder if if they meant this. This, this. this is not the old entrance, this is the... What? What just happened? What is happening? Guys! What are you up to? But yeah, somebody said that they had entered the lab through the old entrance and they couldn't get back out because the, uh, the coded door was locked and they didn't have the code. So I wonder if this is what they meant, that they went in through the anomaly pit? Which shouldn't be an option because the moment you go through there, you should be dead. This, this is this is something that I remember from before uh, the da -da -da -da, before the uh, developers cut. So yeah, is this? Yet. Монолит. Великий монолит. Где ты? Монолит. Великий монолит. А вчера вода с неба. Мокра. Холодно. Мне холодно. You guys seem all right. Ish. Okay. Now, as as of uh, as of this time in game chronology, the Seacon uh, is alive and well and broadcasting. So I wonder what's the deal with these guys? Like they they seem to be complaining that they can't hear the monolith. So is is this the thing that they got too far from the center and now they are sort of like confused because they they don't uh, get the broadcast as clearly. They don't seem to have oh, I wonder back here in this building. They don't seem to have the junk antenna built either. Which which could be like a a bit of a problem. Oops. Uh, let's not get stuck. That is 
also important. were maybe some items in here. Hello. Oh, do I need to repeat the password to you? No, never mind. I think there were some goodies uh, in this corner. Unless I am again, I'm remembering myself dropping some items in another game that might be it. Uh, there might have been something in the garage maybe? And I think there was a stash uh, up there in the hopper. I think um, I'm having flashbacks to the stuff that I dropped myself. Uh oh. Had a phone call. Most inconvenient. Here, do I? It's like daylight and shit. I'm not gonna talk to the guy just yet. This roof. I think the building uh, layout might be a little bit different than compared to s compared to um, Shadow of Chernobyl Vanilla, or or is it? I think. So this building. Hello. <laughs> the monolith has given. I think I'm gonna sell this one. Uh, 
Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to pick it up. And it's heavy. Shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is this is really good. This means I can maybe lose these. And instead just have the straight up anti -rat. Anywho, uh, before I was distracted by shiny loot, I was uh, trying to speculate uh, on the uh, building layout and how it relates to the uh, snork bait uh, plot. And snork bait plot is based on Shadow of Chernobyl uh, buildings, and I think. Certain locations are a little bit different. Like, for example, in the bandit base, uh, I mean, the over here in the valley, the bandit base. Uh, logistics is different compared to Shadow of Chernobyl. For example, uh, in Lost Alpha, you can access certain areas easier that are closed off in Shadow of Chernobyl and uh, okay I think there is a stash in the hopper yeah but it's a marked stash and I haven't discovered it yet Do we get it out of here again? Do we need to slide down this? No. I think we'll just have to jump. Oh, okay. There's a handy plank here. Very handy. Goody. Goody, goody, goody. It was the roof of that building where the sniper was positioned. In snog bait, I mean. Hello. How much for this? Uh, I, I bet the stalkers pay way better for this. I'm gonna make a little, uh, little doodad nest here, and also one thing I wanna check is no, 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 not not artifacts. One thing I wanna check is whether the devs have uh, have included some sort of. Uh, Some sort of uh, fail safe option in case you don't uh, uh, you don't uh, hear a board of mess um, uh, I mean Velis's message. Let's save some stuff here. So the thing is that if uh, if you play the way that I am gonna uh, play this scenario in that you uh, you grab stuff from the bandit base and you already have the documents uh, I mean you have uh, documents from board of uh, safe when you go to Dark Valley that means uh, Veles or that used to mean that Veles uh, never uh, gives you the message with this lab's code and Usually it is not a huge issue unless the, the player really sort of twists the uh, 
I twist the game. Uh, so even though I've brought it up, it, it has never been a high priority to to uh, tweak or, or fix or anything. So it might be that uh, this is still the way it used to be, that uh, you only get the code when you open board of safe. And if you have opened board of safe before, then tough luck, pal. pal. Oh, my battery ran out. But there is one more thing I want to check before I go on and uh, uh, go on and uh, uh, talk to the guy. I want to see if uh, if I can squeeze into this pit somehow. You really shouldn't. I mean, they 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 put the anomaly here uh, on purpose so that you couldn't uh, squeeze past. And ah oh, shit. Okay, now I get it. So yeah. Okay, this is a legit issue. So you. You can't get out of here because you don't know the code. You haven't opened the coded door. And at the same time, you could get into the lab. Well, well, well. Nope. Nope. Okay, so in, in the old days, uh, this issue was resolved in such a way that this uh, pit here... Okay, so the failsafe works, kind of. So this, this pit is extremely radioactive, so you will get uh, deadly irradiated. And I think this door here that I just opened used to be locked, maybe? In any case, I need to reload. Okay, so let's let's try this again, this time with hard on. So basically if if you're able to squeeze through here, you're gonna get a high dose of radiation, but I guess it can be countered. Yeah, okay, so you can uh, you can treat yourself fast enough that you will live. I might be wrong here, but I think it used to be uh, a super radiated spot so that you couldn't survive, but maybe it has changed. So let's see if I can wedge this door. Because if I can, then I might have... Uh, uh, my gun, please. Ah, shit. And I don't have an extra gun either. So yes, it turns out that now players can get trapped in, in here. But also, this means that uh, I have whole new avenues open ahead of me. I wonder what happens if I do the lab before I do the uh, I do the documents. Okay, we're back here. Uh, so one uh, one note uh, to all of those watching at home. So point one: uh, this hole is not the quote-unquote old entrance. This is just a hole in the floor. So, so that's there is that, and also PSA, boys and girls. If you are not ready to do some uh, weapon tango with the door hinges, then do not try this at home. 
uh, for example, right now I have trapped myself in the lab. Uh, and as far as I know, the lab door won't open even if you complete uh, the stuff inside. Uh, right now, uh, I have my gun trapped on the other side and I can't reach it. So so yes, if you if you choose to squeeze in through the uh, through the anomaly pit and uh, and uh, do the risky do it the risky way, then be prepared to do some uh, door wedging. Okay, I'm doing a little quick uh, wedging session from the other side of the door. And it certainly looks that this door can be glitched open, at least on this side. Which means I might change my plans altogether and postpone my darkscape escapades. I forgot to bring down the mic. So yes, I was uh, while I was trying to glitch the door, I was actually glitched through the door, uh, which is kosher enough. So I'm gonna leave this weapon here in case I need to break out later on. I am not gonna talk to the guy right now. Instead, I'm gonna push forward to X18. I'm gonna complete X18 and then uh, summon the military and uh, run to Darkscape. And in case that breaks the game, I'm just gonna have to return to an earlier point and uh, uh, do it all over again, but I'm gonna risk it. So, onward to great uh, underground adventures. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!